I cannot let Connie be Jolati if this is going on the Instagram or wherever it's going. They don't make them like they used to, and I thank the Lord for Pastor Bob. Like he said, went through a lot, and he's still standing, still, still here, still preaching God's people, still loves God's people. Would you stand with me as we pray, get into the Word of God? Father, I thank you, Mordel, for tonight. I thank you for your word, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for all that you do, Dilla. And then, Father God, you give us your word as instruction to keep us, to instruct us. And I pray that those instructions tonight would find good ground in our hearts and go down deep, Father. Start with me, Lord, that we would be aware, Dilla, of what you want to tell us tonight, Dilla. And Father, if there's any heart that needs to come back to you tonight, Father, start with me, Lord. Bring us back. Bring us back, not like we was, but new, fresh, in a new anointing, Lord. Holy Spirit, do your work. Have your way. And use us all for your glory, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay. Give God some glory. Come on, I don't like a quiet church. Give God some glory. I'm on a title ad, but show... Am I backsliding? And I know maybe a lot of people seen it on the Instagram and maybe chose not to come tonight because they don't want to. But you know, the, the truth of the matter is we need messages like this. Why? Because it keeps us in check. It keeps us in check. And these are the things that we need to, to understand. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, if, if, if you're straying away, you're not aware of it. And messages like these from the Holy Spirit will show us, okay, I got to get back in it. Right? Uh, to Maribori, Zofi, uh, unfortunately, like a lot of people, uh, Sulazaro, he's got sugar diabetes. I did a del from that disease. It's a Graza disease. But she says something all the time. Uh, like if we're lifting something, I sharp, Motol, oh, I can't do that. That's going to make me a problem. Because Chanel Levas or Carol so, and she knows that the, the Chanel Levas or something for a diabetic, it's very bad. Right, Uncle George? There you go. So uh, if there's something that can cause a problem, Aracope, right, Uncle George? You got to be very careful. And it's the same thing in our walk in Christianity. I'm talking, is anybody here not born again? If anyone's here not born again, okay, good. So I'm talking to Christians here. And when you're in God, born again, a believer, Musayav is aware, aware. Oh, Peter Pinas, be sober minded and alert. Sober is to know what you're doing, alert is to know what's going on around you. So be sober minded and alert about everything, about everything. Now, uh, sometimes I'll get up, I, I, I'll, I'll rush out the door because I'm busy, Sam. And the Holy Spirit will remind me, hey, you didn't pray. Or, hey, you didn't talk to uh, your God. Or, first. Or he'll remind me, hey, you didn't read the Word of God. Hey, you said you, you had in mind to read the Word of God. You got to study. Don't just get some fast scriptures and go, you got to study. You got to get in the Word of God. And those are the things that keeps me in check because if we don't pay attention to those things, Jackie, we'll stray. And a Christian, a born again believer, is always meant to move forward. Always moving forward. Now, God is always moving forward. Even though he never leaves us nor forsakes us, he's always moving forward. Steve, come over here. You're going to represent the things of God. Just keep moving forward. Now, I'm moving with Steve. But if I'm just standing still, not doing nothing, not doing nothing bad, keep going. Not doing nothing bad, not doing nothing. I'm getting further and further. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Not going to casinos, not going gambling, not doing nothing. Just staying home. But sooner or later, there's a distance. And now if Steve tries to whisper to me, I won't hear him. If Steve tries to talk to me, it's going to be difficult. Okay, Steve, you can go back. Daka supermarket, go on. God bless you, Steve. And that's what happens when we get stagnant, when we get, uh, when we just stand still. We don't think we're backsliding. We don't think we're doing anything wrong. But Ochachimosas, we're getting further and further in our relationship. We're, we're distancing ourselves from God. And it gets harder to pray. The Duzmano starts to come in with guilt. And you start to feel like uh, God doesn't hear you. 
and that relationship that you have with God really is not so strong, so now you're starting to think that God doesn't care. And that's what happens. This is a, look what Isaiah says. Uh, Isaiah 40, watch this. Uh, he gives strength to the weary. How many of us have ever been weary? Right? He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even the youths, young people grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope, those who trust, those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strengths. Now watch this. They will soar like eagles. Have you ever soared in your Christianity? Right? Man, cloud nine. Thank you, Jesus. Everything is good. Soaring. No effort. She's God. Oh, praise the Lord. But they will soar like eagles. They will run. Okay. Running's not soaring, but it's still good. Oh, thank you, Lord. We're good. It's still forward. Then they will run. Not soar. They'll run. They will soar like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and shall not faint. Walking's not running. Walking's certainly not soaring. But it's still moving forward. See, every one of us, life's not always going to be soaring. Life's not always going to be running. Sometimes we just got to walk through it. Sometimes we get tired and it gets, uh, 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 there's a burden, it's a struggle, and there's adversity, and there's, the wind is against us. But we got to keep moving forward. It doesn't say this. I'll show you the opposite. Watch this. Uh, Joshua, go to uh, Psalms 1 and 1. Look at the opposite. Blessed are those, happy are those, blessed are those who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Walk. Oh, I'm walking. Right? Or stand. Stand in the way of sinners. Well, now I'm just standing. Or sit in the company of mockers. See the difference? No forward moving. You're walking, standing, and now you're sitting. Now you're, you're stagnant. Stagnant water gets ugly. Stagnant water gets filthy and polluted. And when we're just sitting, we get polluted with a lot of stuff. We start to think different. We start to act different. And blessed are those who don't walk. Don't walk. Joshua, go to this in the... Go to this in, the, in, the, in, one, in another version. Go to it in NLT. Let me see what it says. Oh, joy to those who do not follow the advice of the wicked. Let me ask you, whose advice are you taking? Is the advice you're taking from your buddies, from your friends, is that taking you forward? Is it keeping you walking? Or stand around with sinners. Are you positioning yourself with people who don't really care? That love sin. As Christians, we're all going to sin. But some guys, listen, I got a friend. I like dessert, but I got a friend who loves dessert. So it bites though, so it can last longer. And some Christians, they love to sin. They enjoy it. And they'll brag about it. Are we positioning ourselves with such people? I think someone told, oh, or join with mockers. You know those people that do those things, those people that uh, love their sin, and those people that give you bad advice, you know what they're actually doing? They're mocking God. And God will not be mocked. If you're standing with them, if you're doing the things they're doing, then you're joining in, they're mocking. Because the Bible says, to be a friend of the world makes you an enemy of God. When you join in with the enemy of God, you're mocking God. But God's not mocked. God can't be mocked. 
So you see the opposite, moving forward, standing, and then sitting. Christians are supposed to move forward. Christians are supposed to keep going. We're all going to trip up, but we don't got to fall away. We're all going to trip up sometimes. Sometimes you're going to complain. Sometimes, let's just be real. If it's not real, it's not nothing. Let's be real. Sometimes you're going to complain. Sometimes she put the Bible. Sometimes she does encouragement. Sometimes it's going to trip up. But we don't got to fall away. Our text is in uh, 2 Peter. Josh, we'll go to that right now. Dixomotolo Peter. Peter, a disciple of God. Dixomotolo. His divine power, kind of told his divine power. Who's divine power? God, Jesus. His divine power has given us everything we need for godly life. We can't make an excuse. It's our fault. It's up to us. Chicken opizor. It's up to us. We have to make the decision every day. He's given us everything. Peskoldujo, peskiwarba, peskizor, kangara, preachers, a Bible. Given us everything we need to live a godly life. To the knowledge of Him who called us and by His glorious. By, and by his own glory and goodness, his glory, and by his goodness, I may say as an example, let's start. I try this, God, try To these, he has given us his very great and precious promises. Not only the example, not only the spirit of God, but his promises. God will never go back on his promises. And when you feel like giving up, when you feel like standing still, when you feel like sitting down, remember his promise. And I promise you, it'll get you back up again. I promise you, when you remember his promises, you'll start to live right again. So through them, next, Josh. For this very reason, make every effort. Huh? got to make an effort. You don't want to get out of bed? You got to get out of bed. You don't want to drive? You got to drive. You don't want to see anybody? You got to. We got to make an effort. You can't keep going forward if you don't make an effort. For this very reason, make every effort to add. So to add. Add is growing. Add is more. Production. Moving forward. What do I need to add? I got to add to the cross? No. I already established that we're all saved. Peter is talking to born again believers. Peter's talking to faithful believers. So you need to add to the, the saving faith that you have to grow in your salvation. You're saved. But we got to add something to that salvation. We got to grow in that salvation. Now, Stephen, oh, thank you, Lord. To add to your faith. Goodness. On the Kaver version, Mutol, virtue. Genesis of virtue and goodness. The Janelo Manus right from wrong. Do we know right from wrong? How are we doing? How are we doing in adding, knowing the decisions right from wrong and doing the good? How are we doing in that area? If I'm failing in that area, if I'm good in that area, do I make the right decisions? When I see something is right and something is wrong, let me give you a perfect example. We all need to grow. And if I'm sitting up here acting like a super spiritual guy, in Taino Dabduma, we just went to Clearwater. We got to rent the van. And I got to go to the Gajo because I got to get the van in the morning, Jackie. I get him kagajo, I got Joe Jal around a van mansa. I decode, okay, everything looks good. Uh, you, you got a three quarters worth of gas, that's what you got to bring with, bring it back with. Okay, my friend, do us a favor. Mark it empty so I don't got to put the hundred dollars back in. Can you mark it empty? Gajo, I can't do that. Come on, I can't do that, Ogajo. 
All right, me. Listen, well, what are you renting the van for? Oh, we're going to a revival. We're going to a church revival. Mulem la javesta. As soon as I said the words, we're going to a church revival. Mulem. What did Oduko le Devlesko right away? Now, you can't mix the two. You can't be a, a conniver and then try to be a spiritual guy. I've got a pandemic, Gajeska, we're going to church. Right away, I've low conviction, Pimandi. Oh, something's got to change. You're not moving forward. Do we know goodness, virtue, making the right decisions? And to goodness, knowledge. Oh, I don't need to go to Bible studies. I don't need to read this. I don't need to grow. You know what the Bible says? To know him is salvation. The more you know him, the more you're going to look like him. The more you know him, the more you're going to act like him. The more you know him, the more your decisions are going to be better. The more you grow, the more you're going to keep moving forward. No matter what, the more you know. How are we doing in that area? Are we growing? Would we rather listen to gossip on Instagram or would we rather listen to the Word of God? Are you more interested in the, the things of this world or are you more interested in knowing more and more about your Savior? How are you doing in that area? And add to knowledge, add self-control. Uh, that's a tough one. But let me tell you something. The more you add goodness, the more you add knowledge, the easier it is to add self-control. The more you add goodness and making right decisions, and the more you add the knowledge, the easier it is to No. No. Karamanga problem. No. That's going to be a problem for me down the road. No. You know why? Because I know that grace teaches me to say no to ungodliness. I cheat out of grace le devlesco polajav so I can satisfy this and these ugly, nasty desires. No. Why? Because the more knowledge I have, the better it is, the easier it is to be self controlled. And to self control, perseverance. Huh? Perseverance is keep moving. When you want to sit down, the knowledge that you added, Mototka, keep going. Those who wait upon the Lord, He'll renew your strength. Oh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to persevere through this storm. How are we doing in that area? Do we just give up? When the light bill or when the phone call comes or uh, somebody gives you a little hard time, do we lose it? Or do we persevere? These are believers he's talking to. He's talking to me. He's talking to you. Perseverance. And to perseverance, godliness. <laughs> the more knowledge, the more perseverance, sooner or later, was a mazos, but your creator. Was a slako warba kai velan chomui leski warba. Was a easy to get the disencouragement. Was a godliness is a, not a burden, it's a delight. Because you know him. You know him. I was a easy to get the des yertimos. Soste, kadaz woman yertimos. I easy to get the motos. Listen to me. Are. Easy to get the des kai kangri, the des chetai, the des kamanos. Easy to get soste, kotu penes. What does man so much? What does man all this? That's godliness. How are we doing in this adding? Adding. Some of us. Including me, subtract. Oh, I'll take uh, knowledge. I love to learn. But that godly stuff, that self control stuff, nah. Can't do that. To perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection. Soskodo. Brotherly love. They will these lake of us. That's how we know your that's how you know that you're of God, Mutoli Bible and the first John. That's how we know we're his disciples. When you love. You're brothers. 
Gotta ducado, Robert? Miss him ducado. When George rejoices, I rejoice. These are my brothers in Christ, and I love them. But Dick Simo told. Oh, let me ask you a question. How are we doing in that? Kind of because someone is doing good. Do you go and encourage him? Timotos, hey, great. I'm so happy for you. Or let's do. I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. How are you doing in that area? Kind of because Chopral Ducado. They bought their ticket. Or are you there to Roveslin, sa? To Vazdeslin? As I'm going to tell you, Bible, when you see your brother fall, you in weakness, Vazdeslin, so stay weakness, because too, you can fall the same way. Vazdeslin, your problem is. I think someone told When you add that, I think someone told Mutual affection. And to mutual affection, love. The answer to love, it's more than just mutual affection. Love is when you have a burden for the lost. Love is when you have a burden for the manuska. Chi janel le devles. I tu mutos. I will not allow. I will not allow. O dusmano te chorok atarodel ek manus. The national that Jesus loves him. The national that Jesus died for him. The national that there's grace. The national that he can come back. The national that he is, he is loved by a beautiful God. Milamanga, and I love people. How are we doing in that area? Eh, they know where the church is at. Eh, how are we doing? And you know, every one of us got to answer these questions honestly on God Dale. Me too. Right? For if you possess, if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, increasing measure, Jackie, not fairly, so they among us too, continue growing. Continue moving forward in love, in mutual affection, in knowledge. Continue increasing in uh, 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 perseverance. Continue increasing in goodness. Continue increasing in these things. Are you continuing or is it just for a season when things are going good? These qualities in an increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective. How many want to be ineffective? Ineffective meaning no power whatsoever. Kanchi chiyankla, nothing. You can't help nobody, you can't pray for nobody. Kanchi. Well, these qualities, if we don't have them increasing, we're not effective for the kingdom of God. And nothing in God is ineffective. And unproductive. Those are not words that describe God. In your knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, next. But whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their past sins. Peng omanus, omanus kai nailes ke kodo, kai nailes ke te increase, kai nailes ke te jango, bustrel sukel dales kodil. And maybe we've got there. Maybe we're paying too much attention to the wrong and not enough to the good that he's done. If he doesn't do anything else for me, Nikki, if he doesn't do one more thing for me, he did enough by saving me with his blood, death, and resurrection. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to conform your calling to election. Make every effort to confirm your calling to election. Make every effort to Janelle Lumia that you are born again, saved, sanctified. Make every effort to Janelle Lumia that you are a child of God. Are we doing good in that area? Come on, give God some glory. But how are we doing in that area? Do people got to ask me I'm a Christian? Do people need to ask me? If I'm born again, if I never had to say a word, Danny, if I never said a word, will people see, if I had somebody follow me all day long, would people see that I'm saved? Would people see that I'm a child of God? Would I confirm it just with my actions? 
In no words, make every effort to confirm your calling of election. And if you do these things, what things? Learn more. Love more. Care more for your brothers. Persevere more. If you do these things, you will never stumble. Huh? Joshua, go to this in uh, uh, the living. But those who fail to develop in these are short-sighted and blind. They have been cleansed. Go to the, keep going till you get to the, they will never fail. What Dixon will told. Never fall away. Not stumble. You will never fall away. Hmm. Man. Think if you do these things, you'll never Never fall away. Keep going. Then God will give you a grand entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, man, give God glory. I got a few more minutes. I'm just going to... Who is this guy to tell me if I do these things... You'll never fall away. Who does this guy think he is? He's telling me if I do these things, if I love more, if I care more, if I persevere, who are these? Who does this guy think he is to tell me, do these things and you'll never fall away? You know who he is? He's the one man who maybe had the only personal biggest backslide on the Bible. Peter. Because let me tell you something. Go, Josh. Mm. Go to Luke. Simon, Simon, Satan has uh, asked to sift you as wheat. Oh, Jesus, del les aduma. Penga, Satan wants you to fall. Go ahead, Josh. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your fate may not fail you. Who is talking to? Faithful people. That your faith, Peter was talking to people in your faith, add. That your faith may not fail you. And when you turn back, strengthen your brother. Well, what did Peter do? This is what Peter did. Canalinele Christos, Uncle George. Hey, Bible Motol, he followed from a distance. And then he got into the courtyard of Herod and he stood among some sinners. And then later on, he sat at the fire with some mockers. And that's what caused the backslide. See, slowly, he didn't think. He told Jesus at this point, I'll die for you. I will die for you. I can never backslide. But slowly, slowly it crept in. This will cause me a problem. A Bible will told that. He said, no, I don't know him. Then he said, no, I don't know him again. Then one hour passed. One hour. And then he said, no, I don't know him. My dad, my ah, I don't know him. He had an hour, Uncle George. But he stood there at the fire. I below backslide. Oh. But how many are thankful for a merciful, Amen. loving Amen. God? Because that's not the end of Peter's story. Peter turned back. You know why? Because the declared is, oh Jesus, by shore, I pronounce, hey, you catching anything? Get over here. Akaldales kapeski yag. Akapeski yag, he restored him. Kapeski yag, he brought him back. I did so pronounce, Peter, now go do what I told you to do. Go strengthen your brothers. And that's what he did tonight. He strengthened us by telling us, add love, add knowledge, add perseverance. Let me give you some strength. Don't do what I did. Don't walk in and then stand and then sit and then fall away. Learn from my mistake. And the same God, the same Jesus 
that restored him was always a restoration God, was always a grateful God. He didn't just be a grateful God. The Bible says the Word was with God and was God. Jesus was in the beginning and will be to the end. Dixon will tell him to Jeremiah, this is God. This is that Jesus on the beach. This is the God that's speaking to us tonight. Return, you backslider children, and I will heal your backsliding. Behold, we will come unto thee, they said, for thou art the Lord our God. It's that simple. You feel like you've been distanced? You feel like you fail in some of those areas? Very simple. Come to God. And at his fire, he'll restore you. At his fire, he'll tell you what you were created to do again. Go out and strengthen your brothers. Usted Mansa. I don't know. I don't know where you fail in those addings. I know where I fail. But wherever we fail, we can come back. And he can heal. Doesn't matter how far, doesn't matter how long you've been sitting, it doesn't matter how long you've been standing, it doesn't matter how long you've been stagnant, it doesn't matter how ugly the water is, it doesn't matter how green, how polluted, you come back and he'll heal you. That's his word. Father, I thank you for tonight. I thank you, God, that you're a God of restoration. A God that heals. You don't just throw us in the water. You've given us everything we need. So tonight, devil, you've given us your promise that we can come back. That we can come back and you will again fill us. Is there anyone here that feels empty? Empty. Vas de chavas. I pen this good devil. Fill me up until I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up until I overflow. I want to run. Oh, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. If you feel that you've been running on empty, fill me up. Fill me up till I overflow again. I want to run over. I want more of you. Heal me if I've been in a backslide. Fill me up. Until I overflow, I want to run over. I want to run over. Just pen, let's go fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up. Oh, don't sing it. Pray it. Don't sing it. You talk to your God. Father, we've, maybe we've fallen away. Maybe we failed in these areas. Fill us. Fill us with that power. Maybe we went from soaring to running or from running to walking. Lord, renew us. And fill me up until I overflow. Lord, let me run over. Jesus, let me run over. Father, I pray tonight that every heart would run over. That you would fill every heart, devil. That you would give us the strength, Father, to persevere. That you would give us, devil, the desire, devil, to learn more and more about you, Father. Fill us, oh God. Fill us to overflowing, overflowing to our kids, Devla, that we would be an example to keep going no matter what the world throws at us. Keep going, Devla. An example to the world, oh God. 
an example to this dark and ugly world that we would shine your light. Fill us, oh God, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen.